welcome, welcome once again to Inner City Women. Oh, what a powerful week we've had. It's been a powerful time of reflecting on our lives and getting our lives together with God and being challenged to do more for Him. It's been a powerful, powerful wow. time. And I've been serving the Lord for over 60 years now, 60 years serving God. And in spite of me knowing Him, and in spite of Him using my life, I still need to get before Him and repent every day because there's always something that comes in or tries to come in and we always have to keep our lives right with him so he could use our lives. He can't use a dirty vessel. He can't really use us if, if we're not together. Mm -hmm. That's why we repent before yeah. him. Oh, it's just a powerful time this, this week. And also we've been on a 40 day fast mm -hmm. and it's been great fasting before the Lord. Mm -hmm. I pray that you're praying for the backslider. I pray you're praying for restoration of the backslider because they need God. You know, the whole world needs God. But the backslider that once knew him, it's harder for them to come back. That's why we fast and we pray and we believe that God can bring them back, right? Yeah, we've been seeing backsliders come into the house of God. He's like drawing people back to himself. And this fast to me, I have such an expectation yeah. for God to move. And that's why I want to challenge everybody, get on board yes. because prayer moves the hand of God. Fasting and prayer, oh my God, there's power in prayer and fasting. And so believe, we're believing with you, but you got to get into that place, into that secret place with the Lord. And let's get on this fast, this 40 day fast. And then also uh, we have women of the word. Uh, we're already 10 weeks into reading his word. 10 weeks we've been, it's, yeah. it's gone by so quickly, hasn't it? You know what's kind of sad? It's not fun reading with you. Cause you're like, what? 10 days uh, right, ahead? Right now, I'm, right now I'm six days ahead in my reading because of a busy week. So I, w I have to get ahead. Mm -hmm. And I always have to be ahead of Doreen anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the day. Oh my God, did you read today? She's like, oh, that was six days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stay ahead because I'm a leader, you know? So I have to stay ahead of everybody. <laughs> No, I, I, I thank God for his word. Yes. His word has given me life. Uh -huh. His word has given me depth. His word has kept me for mm -hmm. over 60 years. I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, it's been 60 years. Wow. Yeah. wow. A little Incredible. over 60. For now. me, it's um, 34 years almost. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and everything is made possible mm -hmm. because of giving to United yeah. We Can. I thank God for United We Can. That's why it's happening all over the world. All the things that we're doing, we're opening up churches, we're, we're helping build a church in Cuba. We're doing so much through United We Can. I pray that you're a member of United We Can. And I pray that you're always thinking of how much more can I give? Mm -hmm. And right now I'm gonna show you, there's three ways to give. And I pray that you're gonna put your attention to the screen and give today. Generosity made simple. Text VOI to 77977. Select the giving link. Enter your amount and gift type. If it's your first time giving, enter your payment details and confirm your gift. Thank you for your generosity. Now we can stay connected wherever you go. Download the Victory Outreach app and stay connected with Victory Outreach International. Get important updates and announcements. Learn more about our ministries. Stay connected with events, prayer requests, and more. Watch the latest video in our media section. Easily share content on social media within the app. Give from your phone in seconds. A convenient way to stay connected. You ready? Yeah. Come on. What are you thinking? What are you looking at? What do you got? Yeah, I'm ready to rock that. What are you thinking? What are you looking at? What do you got? Ready? Let's do it. Support World Missions and do what you love. My name is Sapphire and I'm 28 years old 
Right now, I am excited to be a part and privileged and honored to be a part of the Third Wave LA team. Well, I love to craft. This is my crafting station. Well, I craft for hope because that is my hobby, but now I've seen that it turned into something more. It's not just a hobby. Run for Hope to me is just helping making a difference in the world. I believe that the money that I'm gonna bring in is gonna make a great difference. So this is one of the things that I love to make. This is a cake topper. I also make cups, mugs, and t-shirts. And I love to craft for hope to make a difference in the world. This year, do what you love. Sign up today by visiting vorunforhope.org. Welcome back to Inner City Women. This is a powerful program that we're able to talk to women that are from the inner city or they work in the inner city. And today as our guest, I have Jeannie Alanis. She's an elder's wife and a powerful woman of God. She pastors in Chicago, Illinois, and also in San Bernardino, California. <coughs> and she also leads up our treasures, uh, Twilight Treasure Ministry. Yes. Welcome, Jeannie. Thank you, Mama. It's so great and amazing to be here today. It's, it's so powerful. Yes. Maybe you could give us a little bit about your background. Oh. Because you're passionate for, for, the, for mm -hmm. the streets. You're passionate to mm -hmm. win people for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Why are you so passionate? I'm so passionate. I'm passionate because they went out and reached us. Mm -hmm. um, Victory Outreach came to our city, and I remember they, they were evangelizing our city and our town, our area, and... At first, I said, oh, no, nobody could ever change like that. And, and my friend said, what is that? I said, I don't know, don't even pay attention. And so that was the first thing, because I couldn't, it was unbelievable that God could get a gang member, a drug addict, and change him. And at, right after that, they continued to um, be persistent on the streets and, and having rallies and testifying, passing out flyers. And before you know it, one of our friends got saved. Mm -hmm. And he was dramatically saved. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was an extraordinary individual. And he used to just bring in, when, when he would come to witness to us, he would bring in this light into the darkness. Mm -hmm. And for that, I, I said, we have to remain in the streets. We have to continue to go out and reach the unreachables. Because people would be scared to talk, talk to us, I guess. Not, to, not so much to me, but to my husband and to the rest of the guys in there. You know, but why, why your husband? Because he's a gang leader. He was a gang leader. <laughs> he's yeah. still a gang leader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he switched. <laughs> yeah, he switched. It was like the same passion, mm -hmm. even well, now a greater passion. But he, yeah, he was a gang leader. And very... I don't want to. I don't want to say, but he was he was notorious in our city, mm -hmm. and um, when God reached him, oh, what a miracle! Mm -hmm. So that's why you're so passionate. Yes, for the streets. and because God changed our lives mm -hmm. and gave us a real pur purpose. You know, took our our pain, took all my disappointments, took all mm. the sad things of my life, and. He propelled my pain into my purpose. Mm. Now I have a purpose in life. Yes. And I want to reach others. And I didn't come from the background of Twilight Treasures, mm. but I have a passion for souls because the pain is the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, the pain of a prostitute, somebody on the streets. Yes. I can't imagine that. You know, I, it's hard to imagine what they go through. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, to be yeah. able to lose all their self-respect and and to be out there on the streets. And even during COVID, even during this whole they're out pandemic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And all over the streets of South Central, we sent teams to go and evangelize. Yeah. And they're out there. They're there. They're out there. They, they, don't, they don't go away. Mm -mm. They're still out there on the streets. Still there. Not only in the streets, but also cyber. Mm -hmm. they're, they're out there, you know, they're online. Mm -hmm. And all this is going on. And there's such darkness in that. But thank God. Yes. We yes. breathe. Yes. We oh, breathe yes. to these dry bones yes. that are out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we breathe life yes. into them yes. by going out there to the streets and telling them there is an answer. Yes. There is an answer is for an them. Answer. They don't have to be like that. They don't have to be on the streets. They can change. We believe that with all our hearts. 
Yes. And that's why we do Code Red. Tell me yes. about Code Red. Oh my gosh. And the oh. date for Code Red too. June 3rd and 4th. 3rd and 4th. And we do a two-day radical evangelism. Uh, a lot of us start the month before and we start scouting the land and seeing where the location where all these girls are at. Of course they do, you know, they, they change their, their places, their locations. And, but so we're out there and we're building relationships with them. We are getting to know them on first name basis. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're named Chocolate, Desire. <laughs> and, but they know us. Uh -huh. and, and then we go out beforehand to see where they're at so we could plan our event, mm -hmm. two day event. So what do you do on those two days? On those two days, we, have, we set up tents, little tents all over a parking lot. And, and we have little boutiques. We uh, give, give them clothing, purses, shoes, jewelry. Uh, we have a prayer booth mm -hmm. and uh, to offer them prayer. We have a booth that has resources all laid out, all kinds of resources for, for their health or our women's homes and other resources for um, even the, the mothers with children that, you know, we can't always take them in. And I mean, what else do we do? We feed them. Mm. And then we have big rally on a stage, a big stage. And we have a rally, and we have testimonies, and we have music, and we have giveaways, and we preach the gospel. Yes. Now, this is not just done in, in her city. This is done, Code Red is taken off and we're doing it all over the world. Yes. They do it in Africa, they do it in Europe, we do it in England, we do it uh, Philippines, all over Mexico, Panama, we all go out there for these two days of Code Red. And if you haven't participated, you have not lived. That's right. Because it is a powerful time to see someone transform right before your very eyes. It's it's just it's powerful. Yes. It's hard to describe it. Yeah. And we, we see these girls yeah. actually get saved. We see yes, them we come do. into our homes. We see the transformation power of God. And, you know, there are women. I, I think what, the, the time you preached many years ago, you, you preached yes. a message. You and you were saying women. that they belong to us. Yes. And that the men are going to go out there and no, reach I don't him. want my husband going out there. <laughs> no, no that's right. I'm going to go out there, not him. <laughs> you said, we have to go out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember making that altar call, and God gave me a real heart and burden. And then it's in our mission statement. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's in our mission yes. statement. You yeah. know, a sense of dignity, belonging, mm -hmm. and destiny. Yeah. And that's what we're called to do. We're called to, to bring them in. And, and let them be restored. Yes. Let them completely be restored by the power of God. And that's a beautiful thing when you see yes. the change and the yes. transformation. I love that about our ministry, that oh, we don't so. just reach them. We see them come in. We embrace them. They become part of the family. Yes. family. We see them change. We see them transform. We see them get the call of God. And we see them go out and reach more people. Yes. And that's so powerful to see that happen. And Code Red is all over the world, all worldwide. Over the world. I mean, um, everyone does it. Yes. And but we uh, do it all year long, too. We do it. We do have Twilight Treasures all year long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we emphasize on those two days. To That's do, when everybody yes. rallies. Yes. Everyone. We all come together for those two days for Code Red. Yes. Thank you, Judy, for being here. Yes. And we're going to go to a testimony right now of a girl that has been redeemed. And right after that, we're going to have Patsy and Natasha come on and be our guests. So we're going to go to that video right now. My name is Valerie and this is my story. I started drinking um, at a young age. I met my kid's dad when I was 16 and I was a single mother at the age of 19. I struggled to make ends meet, so I got a second job at a club. That's when I started drinking every day. I started using drugs just to be on stage um, and to help me with the guilt and shame. I then was introduced to online escorting and I did this for about two years and danced for seven. And my brother, at my lowest point, my brother brought me to Victory Outreach and it was at the altar where God touched my heart. And um, I came to the women's home August 14, 2016. I graduated and now God is just using everything that I've ever been through to reach other women. I now direct the home I've been directing for three years and I'm able to see God transform the lives of other women. Well, at a young age because of sexual abuse, 
I found myself having low self-esteem, low self-worth. By the time I was 19, I was working in a massage parlor and eventually found myself in the strip club. I um, am prostituting at that time and using drugs heavily, heroin, meth, cocaine, alcohol, you name it. And by the time I was 25, I had two children that were taken from me in CPS and pregnant with my third. Um, I felt myself um, just wanting to die. I had no purpose, nothing to live for, and um, I knew that I wanted to change my life. I found the women's home here in Phoenix, um, Arizona, and it was there that God really touched my heart. He touched my, my mind. He gave me value, gave me purpose, and I've been saved for three years. I'm not only just saved, I'm, I'm walking in a calling that that reaches many women. I'm staff in the women's home and I serve in my church. And I know that God has so much planned for me. I'm raising my son in the things of the Lord and I couldn't be any more blessed. I was raised in a polygamous Mormon home. And when I was 18, I ran from there and to a big city where I ended up addicted to drugs. When I was 27, I lost my kids and I ended up in a in sex trafficking ring. I ended up being able to get away just by the grace of God and I ended up running right to the doors of Victory Outreach and I ended up in the women's home and I just fell in love with God and I just fell in love with the vision. In college, I found myself in an abusive relationship. After two years, I got out and started partying heavy. I started to date professional athletes and that introduced me to a lifestyle I had only seen on TV. I started dancing and ended up into prostitution. That lasted about three years until I got pregnant with a client of mine. At that point, I was so lost and so suicidal. I didn't want to live anymore. I never had a mom, so I didn't think that I could be one. One day, someone told me that God had a plan for me. And I was crazy enough to believe it. Right now, I have been saved for about two years. I have a beautiful three-year-old boy, and we are living our best life. I am a gang girl leader in my church and I live in a gang girl home and I couldn't be more blessed. And now we are back after those powerful, powerful testimonies. Mm -hmm. That is power. That is the power of God to change and transform a life. And that is proof that it works. Yes. We have proof that it works. And today I have as a guest, we have Patsy Garcia and we have Natasha Moore mm -hmm. that it's just a powerful thing what God is doing in your, in your city, Patsy. Yes, yes. God is doing something very special in our women's ministry because of Twilight Treasures and Code Red. We have been doing this for years now. And I really feel that God is giving us the, the increase of souls of women that are hurting from that lifestyle and women that had no hope. And Natasha is here and she was one of those girls and she... She, is, she gives me joy, she gives me inspiration. Uh, you were asking earlier, what, what makes you want to do this? You know, what is your, your inspiration? Well, this girl and many others right. right here, they give me that joy and that vision and that uh, passion to continue to reach out to these hurting girls. Tell us a little bit of your story. Um, so I was at a young age, around six years old, I was sexually abused. And I bring that up because I feel like um, that kind of helped define like my value. You know, when I turned 17, I started working at a, a brothel um, and a massage parlor it was, sorry. And um, using drugs, heroin, meth, drinking. Oh um, my God, heroin. Yes. Oh, meth. Yeah. And, um, became heavily addicted and I guess that just like reduced my value of self you know I didn't really 
I didn't care about life. I didn't care about anything. And um, my mom was never, she was always working. My dad wasn't in the picture. So I just feel like I was alone, you know, I was alone. And um, at the age of 19 is when I started stripping in the club. And from there, it was just like everything. I was exposed to everything, prostitution, um, in the club, outside the club. Eventually, I would work with like pimps. I've had a few of those and um, traveled all over the world um, doing that and, and um, you know, just heavily addicted. I have a few children that I was never there for and um, I just didn't know how to be a mom, you know. I didn't know how to do anything but what I was doing. And how did you come to know Jesus? Mm. So um, my friend Valerie Coy, she's my also my home director. Um, she was. There's always someone, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One person. So one person yeah. knows yeah. another person. Yeah. Yes. And and that's the way it's a chain reaction. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. So go and tell me. So God saved her. We were using. We've we've worked um, online escorting, even in the clubs together, and um, she was she was getting right and I was doing what I was doing. I was in a relationship uh, with a, a man that used to be a pimp. He wasn't my pimp, but it, the relationship was toxic like that. And with, he's my, my son's father. And um, so I was there and I just, he was married. So that kind of, again, um, enforced like the, you know, low self-esteem, low self-worth. And um, uh, Valerie had found me and I was like, over ODing often and just in a really dark place. I knew I would like never come back from there if I didn't get the help. That, that was I probably needed. maybe your lowest point. I agree. Yes, it was well, the at lowest. At your lowest point, many times this one got reached out. Yeah. Oh, and he showed up. Yes. He showed up yeah. because there was no other way out. I tried and I, it was either that or, or like eternal darkness, you know, mm. and I felt that in my heart. And um, so Valerie was like, you need to come to the home. And I was like, I'm not ready. Like, I, I can't. I have my seven-year-old. And so her mom um, took him for the year. She said, as long as you stay and do the whole year, then I will keep your son. And so I went to the home and mm -hmm. it was there. Like everything that I always wanted, I always needed okay. was in this ministry. Like not only did I have a touch from God where he reminded me that I was like, I was worth, I was worth more, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so now, you know, I, I found purpose in that. And, and I'm super passionate about reaching other women. Yeah. I know a lot of women still awesome. doing that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm head staff in the home, which gives me exposure <laughs> to many other women like me. Um, but also I, the Twilight Treasures ministry is really like, I feel like that's where I'm called to, like to really go out there and be like, sister, God is the only way. He's the only way. Cause I, I've tried other things and none of it worked, you know, nothing kept me like, like the love of God. Like one of the women were speaking about earlier, it's the love of God that really transformed my life and gave me everything I looked for and everything else. Yeah. You know, so. Okay, so, so you're head staff. And yes. what, else, what else do you do in the church? Um, I do worship. I love worshiping. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I felt like you were a worshiper. Yeah. Because I said, she's, she's got too much to give, you know? Yeah, yeah, I love worship. I'm not like the best singer, but oh, I, I love worship God. You look like you could sing real good. Oh, well, she is a singer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a singer, but I, you know, I, I, I'm learning, I'm growing, um, but I love worship. You have a song worship. in your heart because you've yes. been delivered. Yes. And I do. I, yes. You should see me. I, I get I lit for Jesus. Yeah, uh -huh. so I definitely, um, I love worship. I also am a gang leader. I help um, with the gang in the church. I do stage management. Mm -hmm. Really, wherever I'm needed, I'm available, you know. Uh, your testimony just touches me. I, I, I'm just holding back my tears, really, mm -hmm. right now. Uh, I remember when we were running the home that we had, we had a revival with the girls from Hollywood. One girl got saved. Her name was Raindrop, mm -hmm. and she went back and she started bringing them. Yes. And we had a revival with them, like you're, mm -hmm. you're going through right yes, now, Patsy. Yes. We had a revival with these prostitutes that came in and their pimps would try to come and mm -hmm. take them out of our home. Mm -hmm. And my husband would go out there and, and argue with them and fight them. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was really something yes. going through that. But I remember the joy, the joy yes. of seeing yes. these lives yes. change. Yes. 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 It's so powerful to yeah. me yeah. to see it all happen right before mm. our very eyes. Yes. And that's when we began yes. the Twilight and that's Treasure we're, Ministry. We faced that recently yes. with pimps coming 
to the home, to the church, yeah. walking into our church service, really? and we're like, no, mm -hmm. devil, you're not, you're not, not today. taking this wow. one. Not today. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. And I thank God. You know, another thing that brings so much joy, and like you said, makes me want to weep, is when I, when I see her son, mm. her beautiful son, Romello, who he didn't have a mama. Mm. She was always high. Yeah. She was always leaving him. And now, oh my God, that little boy, he's in kids gang. He knows the word. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's, um, blesses my heart. Oh my God. It's like, I don't even know. Sometimes it, it's mind blowing because I'm like, boy, where did you get this from? And he, <laughs> he loves worshiping. He mm -hmm. rebukes me in the spirit. And I'm like, God, you're doing something. And on, there was a, when I named him, because his name is Romelo Samai, it means obedience to God. Mm. God told me when I was pregnant with him, like, you're not going to do this again. You're not going to abandon this boy. I'm going to use his life. He's going to be amazing. And I didn't know at the time what, what he was doing. It wasn't until recently, like, now I know God is going to use him. I see it. Yes. I know. He wants to be a pastor and a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, those are the two things. I'm like, he? okay, he's seven. Seven. Oh. Yeah, so he's a blessing. He loves the women's home. He loves the women's home. He's all over there. He tells everyone at school, I have I have sisters. Sometimes I have nine sisters at one time. And, and they're probably like, what's going on at that house? You know, but we know, we know that God is is really like already giving him that hunger for souls, you know, and he's, I know this this vision, if not just for me, it's, it's for him too. This is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm so touched right now. And I want you to know that we do an outreach all together. Mm -hmm. All of us go out. We do, do this. Uh, our, our churches all go out to the streets. We all do that. But then we, we, we purposely do Code Red in June. Mm -hmm. June is the third and fourth. Third and fourth of, of June. Mm -hmm. And we, we prepare things. We give them gifts. We go out. 24 hours we're going out there for two days. Yes. We give ourselves to this ministry. Yes. I pray that if you're watching right now, that you'll be part of this because you're missing out if you're not doing this. Yes. You can join your Twilight Treasure team in your church or you could pray for them. Pray. Mm -hmm. Begin with prayer for them. Yes. Because they need so much prayer. We've been hearing so much this, this uh, convention and also we've been doing the 40 day fast mm -hmm. and all these things we've been praying and believing God for revival in the streets. Yes. Yes. We've been believing it for That's him right. and we see it happening here. Yes, it's, it's happening. You, Jesus. It's happening. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're, you're believing for. Maybe there's a big miracle you're believing for. I know I'm praying mm -hmm. for a, a miracle for my grandson. Mm -hmm. That's my, my heart's cry. Every morning I wake up, my first prayer is for that boy mm -hmm. to be delivered. I know you have a heart's cry. Mm -hmm. We all have a heart's cry. And let's believe together for miracles. Yes, yes. I, I believe for the streets. I believe for girls like Natasha. Mm -hmm. I believe that yes. God is able to raise them up. Yes. And I, right now, whatever miracle you're believing God for, mm -hmm. I, we're going to believe God right now. I'm going yes. to have Doreen pray right now for, for your needs. We're going to pray that God will really give you a burden for people that are hurting. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you have somebody hurting in your home right now, we're going to trust God for that need. Yes. yes. Amen. Oh, I'm, I'm like so touched right now. And I know many of you are watching. You could feel um, such a beautiful presence of God. And he is a miracle working God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every day he's doing miracles. Yes. He is able. His hand is not too short mm -hmm. that he can't reach out and touch somebody you're believing for. Yes. And right now, I just want you just to put your faith and your focus on God Almighty, the miracle working God. And right now, agree with me in prayer. Lord, I thank you right now, Father. Yes, yes, Lord. For your grace. Yes. Lord, your grace is so real, Father. Yes. And Lord, I thank you for your power and for your love, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that you are concerned, Father. You see all, you know all, and Father, you hear our prayers, yes, Lord. Oh and right now, as we stand in a position of faith, believing, Lord, Lord, that you would hear our prayer, Father. Yes, yes. You would hear our prayer and our petitions, Lord. We cry out to you, Father. We don't yes. look anywhere else, but we look to you. Yes. You are the healer. You are the miracle working God. 
And right now, God, I ask that you would just meet everybody right now at their point of need, Lord. There's many women who need miracles right now. Many women, Father, who need you to move on their behalf. And no matter if it's a wayward child, no matter if it's, if it's a husband, Lord, no matter if it's a healing that's needed, no matter if it's somebody that's out there lost and bound and, yes. and, and still out there in a place of addiction and bondage, Lord, you're able to yes. go yes. and you're able to just be oh, the one, you. Father, to meet them right there. And I ask that you would go, Father, you would go yes. where we need you to go, go. And, our prayers, let them move your hand, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for your miracle working power. And Lord, we know, Father, as we believe and as we put our faith and hope in you, yes. you're going to see, we're going to see what we're praying for. Yes. We're going to see the miracles that we've been asking for. Yes, Father. We thank you now in advance. Right now where you are, just thank yes. him in advance. Yes. Say, God, I we will thank, thank you, you yes. before I thank see you, it. Lord. And I know that you're moving in the supernatural. And I thank you in advance for the miracle and the power of salvation yes. and deliverance mm -hmm. and healing. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. 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 That was a prayer of faith, <laughs> yes. a prayer of faith. Mm -hmm. And when, when you have faith, you thank him before it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith is a, is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. yes. And we thank him in advance. If you thank him after the miracle, it's gratefulness. Mm -hmm. We're all grateful. But if you want God to move on your behalf, we have to step out by faith yes. and trust him and believe yeah. that things are happening Amen. and are going to happen in our lives. So I want to thank you for being with us in Inner City Women today. Patsy and Natasha, thank you've been Jesus a blessing. Yes. And thank you, Doreen, as well. Mm -hmm. God bless you, and Powerful. we'll see you again real soon. Thank you for tuning in today to our live broadcast. You too can also be part of giving right there where you're at, whether you're watching at home or on the go, simply by clicking on the link in the description below or through our Victory Outreach International app. Let's take a look at how easy it is to give. Generosity made simple. Text VOI to 77977. Select the giving link. Enter your amount and gift type. If it's your first time giving, enter your payment details and confirm your gift. Thank you for your generosity. Now we can stay connected wherever you go. Download the Victory Outreach app and stay connected with Victory Outreach International. Get important updates and announcements. Learn more about our ministries. Stay connected with events, prayer requests, and more. Watch the latest video in our media section. Easily share content on social media within the app. Give from your phone in seconds. A convenient way to stay connected. <laughs>